Hey everyone, welcome everyone to yet again to another uh, showdown uh, uh, sweeps. And today's one, we got a Galarian Moltres sweep. Now, before you ask, <laughs> yes, I've already done a uh, Galarian Moltres sweep, but that was years ago. And the first one when I did was a little bit corrupt because I had a little error in the explanation. Plus, it wasn't as much fun because I wasn't fighting a legitimate team. So now we got another one attempt. And I wanted to try the set again. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, what's going on. So, uh, today's one, uh, if you haven't seen uh, my f a few ones, uh, a couple other sweeps, I recommend you watch them. Um, as of my other sweeps, like my Ursh my previous one, or recent one, which is basically the, the previous uh, dark type sweep I've done. And here is also the, oops, wrong one, wrong one. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Uh, this, it's the... Uh, I know this is the weird one to do, but yeah, I'm going to do it anyway. So yeah, uh, it's uh, <laughs> it's this one right here. So this is my first Galarian Moltres uh, sweep, but uh, <laughs> I ended up uh, um, finding out that battle was a little bit not as much fun. So we're going to do another one. Now this sweep here, um, uh, I did a while back. I think I, <laughs> I got this one before. Um, strange enough, I actually got this one before the, the Cresselia sweep. Which, by the way, I did send you the link to the actual thing. So if you want to watch those, you can watch it right there. Now, um, this one was my physical um, Galarian Moltres set. And uh, I ended up wanting to use one because I really wanted to try experience something new. And I ended up doing it instead of using, like, you know, a, a special set, obviously. But, uh, yeah. In uh, another like this. So I uh, hope you guys and girls can enjoy this one. Now, uh, before the start of the battle, we're going to have to go for some setups. Uh... Now this wasn't really a much of a Galarian Moltres set I wasn't really going for. I was actually going for a different sweep, but I ended up doing this, so yeah. Uh, we got a Gengar here who actually just used Speed Swap so I can get the speed and set up a Sticky Web. Next I was going to go for my Cresselia, this was my original sweep I was going to go for, but uh, <laughs> Swagger missed and then the G-Max Terror activated, we activated my Weakness Policy and was like, okay, that's cool. But I needed at least one more, but I, then I realized, oh, wait, <laughs> I'm just going to end up uh, switching back my uh, boost. So, yeah, that didn't work out. I used Curse Bunny, and I'm like, oh, well, this is pretty much game. But uh, I, I was like, oh, I don't know if I have the, <laughs> if I don't have anything else to go for. But I'm like, wait, I just have, uh, wait a second. No, no, what am I talking about? I have a, a Galarian Moltres. I maybe can't scare him off. So I ended up switching my, uh, uh, my, uh, my Scolipede. And uh, this is where the part, uh, the weird part about this. So I wasn't surely this is gonna work. I was hoping I could get this uh, Galarian Moltres sweep, but uh, it was all around uh, the Moopole and some of the luck. And uh, this battle actually has some luck with it. So I hope you guys and girls can enjoy this one. Um, there was only gonna be a one battle here, so you're just gonna have to see this one. And we'll see you at the end of the battle and talk some of the more strategies. All right, enjoy.
So I hope you guys enjoy this one. All right, uh, all right. <laughs> now let's explain the Galarian Moltres set and uh, let me explain the move what I run this one. So obviously this was my physical one that I run well back and uh, I ended up wanting to do a remake one because uh, first of all, well, not not because it has a shiny, uh, the shiny, uh, um, the shiny Galarian Moltres is now out, but uh, <laughs> It's because I wanted to do this one again because I wanted to do a little bit more legitimate one and uh, I wanted to try a little bit more fun challenges and uh, yeah, this is what I did. So yeah, um, yeah, I actually also did a Galarian Zapdos and Galarian Articuno a while back so I forgot that I did want to post those but uh, yeah, you got to see this one, uh, uh, the, you can just see the original one so that's that but you know, it's fine. It, it, it's okay. I, I, I just say I simply just run like a uh, completely like I run the focus energy uh, zap those Galarian and the physical power swapping uh, Articuno but other than that nothing else but yeah anyways uh, back to this one so this one it was my fully physical Galarian Moltres uh, set and uh, let me explain the Moopole and the EVs and stuff now this one was a <coughs> a max attack max speed with 4 for HP we got an adamant nature this one with foul play, dual wing, facade, and steel wing. Weakness policy is the item, and berserk. Well, <laughs> it's not really gonna much help because it's technically it's, it's <laughs> signature ability, but uh, for this battle, it's not gonna be useful as uh, as you think because well, obviously I'm gonna run the physical one, so berserk ability pretty much a useless ability. So yeah. <laughs> now um, this challenge was obviously to just use the physical set of the Galarian Moltres. Now, the physical move pool of Galarian Motors is, well, it's not as awful, it's not completely low an option, but it has a really good move pool with it, and <laughs> has a good combination with it, but uh, it just really just has some low, like, really has some odd move pool with it to use it uh, in a, like, in, in battle in general, so, like, um, first of all, he has most, like, this Galarian Motors has most likely a lot of flying and dark type move, like flying type, for uh, for example, it gets Bray Bird, um, it gets Fly, Sky Attack, and Wing Attack. For Dark type, it gets Payback, Insurance, uh, uh, Insurance, obviously, Sucker Punch, uh, Lash Out, and Foul Play. So there are many uh, completely useful or no useless moves. But there's some alright moves, and then we got some coverage backup uh, moves like um, like Steel Wing, U-Turn, <laughs> uh, let's see, Giga Impact. Uh, it gets um, let's see here, it gets <laughs> it gets uh, Facade. Obviously, I didn't obviously show. I, I forgot to show you him. That one, um, <laughs> and then it gets some other weird moves like more like status move and stuff. But it didn't get any moves to increase its physical attack, so I wanted to try maybe a some sort of strategy based around using a physical, a complete physical set with it. Now, I, ultimately, I could I just found something out with one of the moves I actually could re replace it with, and that was could be U-turn. However, um, here's the thing about this uh, set. Uh, first of all, I would love to not uh, use U-turn often because, in case you know you're fighting like something like. Um, Something with, um, let's say, a. Let's just say that like this. So, your foul play got disabled. You have two resistant move, and the only option is. is the only option to uh, hit this Pokemon is to use a bug type move, which is U turn is the only one, right? But the question is would you use it in case, you know, if you had to knock out this one uh, Pokemon? Because it was the only way to do it. However, you have still have to feed two more Pokemon, and the only way to do it is, is, is use it. But the, the question is, uh, or the problem is, not question, problem, is that it will switch out as soon as it uses. So basically, all those stats boost will be pretty much uh, uh, will be gone, and you have to reset the reset up the set, and uh, it wouldn't be as um, <laughs> it's going to take a while and. Uh, Basically, uh, if I don't get my two sword stands up and my speed boost, Galarian Moltres doesn't hit as much as you thought it would. Now, I already did attempt the one uh, also a while back when I did my full. Uh, what was it back? Was it yeah? It was my full mono dark type? I did. You probably have ever seen that one. 
it wasn't that difficult for me to do it because you know without like weakness policy it's not exactly it's super powerful it gets it's base uh, attack with maximized attack is uh, uh, 295 with adamant nature which still does some pretty good damage but exactly won't have as much uh, much to exactly do it with the opponent since you know Pokemon the uh, the opponent's Pokemon would probably have some more bulk in it and the uh, Galarian Zapdos isn't exactly well <laughs> power hours with it so yeah um, now foul play for example let me let me talk about some of my moves why I run this list so foul play uh, the user targets attack stats or the user's targets attack stat in damage calculation so um, Basically, it does. I'm pretty sure it does more more base attack if the opponent has uh, more base attack. I'm pretty sure uh, that goes in, or if that's a remember, or probably it's something around there. But yeah, uh, then we got dual hit with, dual wing hit, uh, beat in case there's a focus dash user, or if I need something to hit it twice. Uh, we got facade in case the Pokemon wants to use like a status condition, which kind of in this battle we got a Pikachu with uh, with static, which <laughs> kind of paralyzed the. Uh, my Galarian Moltres, which actually kind of would have actually boosted my facade with a lot more better. But the problem is that I, I had the, a little bit of low speed, and I only had only one base, uh, one plus on speed. So I wasn't exactly extremely fast, which gladly I had Sticky Web on the field in case that happened. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. So yeah. And uh, also I have Seal Wing in case we're facing a Fairy type, because Fairy types are a lot. Of, has a lot, a lot, a lot of fun with facing against dark type Pokemon. So, in case I face a fairy type, Steel Wing uh, will help me out. Or, in general, Max Steel Spike will preferably go with it. And, uh, yeah. Also, uh, you also notice that some, something in this battle. I don't know why the opponent went for Moonblast on the Zacian. It must be a content set, which is nice. And uh, I ended up, I just, I guess I, that was a plan. That was a plan. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it happened. So I'm glad they got this one done. And the next one, I might put up a later on a another Pokemon sweep, which is probably gonna come up after the Galarian Moltres upload. So be sure to see there. And uh, hope you guys enjoy this uh, Galarian Moltres uh, set number two. And uh, we'll see you in the next uh, sweep. Peace.